Planet Dolan. Hello, Internet. My name is Paprika, and boy, do I get mistaken as a kid pretty often. If you don't know, I'm roughly three feet tall. I'm the oldest of my average size siblings, but I was cursed with being the runt. I get mistaken for a child a lot, but I'm in my 20s, and if you ever misage me, I'll find you. So a few years ago, I decided to cut my long, beautiful red hair up to my chin because I wanted something different. When I was done, I was looking amazing. I looked sophisticated, like I could have been one of those human women in a pantsuit running a giant company. Later, my siblings and I decided to grab some dinner at a nice restaurant. While my brother was talking to the host, I had my back turned looking at something across the room. The host pulled out a yellow and pink sheet of paper and asked my brother if we needed a... kid's menu. I turned around slowly and asked, What did you say? The host looked at my siblings nervously and held up the menu and said, A kid's menu? I stood there for just a moment before jumping onto the podium and screaming, I am an adult! While pouring gasoline all over the place and lighting a match, burning down the whole restaurant and everyone in it! <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't burn down the restaurant, but I did tell the host I was an adult and showed in my ID card feeling pretty frustrated. Another time this happened was when my family and I went on vacation to a beach resort. I had my swimsuit on and my floaties, cause I can't swim too well, and a cocktail in my hands. In this area of the resort, you have to be 21 and up because of the alcohol they served. I was living it up, sunbathing and relaxing. When my sister leaned over to me and asked me to grab a couple of drinks for her, me, and my brother. I went right up to the bartender and asked for three Bloody Marys. As I brought them their drinks, we all toasted and took a sip. We started looking at each other, confused, realizing there was zero alcohol in the drinks. I went back to the bartender and said, Hey! There is no alcohol in here! I paid for three Bloody Marys! I bring them back, we all take a sip and realize, again, there's no alcohol! Fed up, I ran back to the bartender and shouted, Hey! What's the big idea, buddy? You still didn't put alcohol in these! He looked at me and said, You're not over 21. I can't sell you alcohol, but I can give you virgins. I shouted back, I'll show you my ID! I pulled it out of my wallet and slammed it on the table. Then he had the nerve to ask me if it was real and put a black light over it. I snatched it back from him and told my sister to just order the drinks from now on. There was, however, a time when looking like a kid was used to my advantage. A cousin of mine was visiting from out of town and brought her five kids with her. She wanted me to show her around and take her and her family to see some sights, go fun places, find places to eat, blah blah blah. My brother mentioned there being a zoo nearby. We all agreed it'd be fun and we were packing up some lunches for the trip. My brother mentioned that kids under 12 could get in for free. So her son looks up at me and says, Paprika could get in for free because she looks so tiny. Everyone stopped what they were doing and stared at me, waiting to throw a fit. <laughs> but at that moment, I started to come up with an evil scheme. We got to the zoo and everyone started paying for their tickets. The clerk looked over and stared at me as I scrunched in the middle of the kids, hoping not to be ID checked. He looks back at my cousin and asks, So, six kids, right? They can go ahead. Sweating nervously, we walked in, and once we got far enough away from the clerk desk, we all high-fived and enjoyed our free zoo trip. That's probably going to be the only time I'll ever use my powers for evil. Now this last time was probably the most infuriating. My friends invited me to a house party their co-workers were having. I told them I didn't want to go at first because parties aren't really my thing, but they insisted. So I eventually caved and went out with them. I put on my best clothes, which to me, looked super fancy and cool. I was in heels, a short dress, and sunglasses on the top of my head with my hair in a ponytail. When we got to the party, they started introducing me to a few of their friends and people they worked with. It seemed like everything was going well until one of their friends ran up to us holding a beer can. He looked around and then at my friends and asked, Why'd you bring your little sister here? This is for grown-ups. We're gonna get in trouble for having a minor drink and alcohol. 
He then squatted down in front of me and asked if I was lost in a little baby voice and told me to go home. I tried to ignore it, but he just kept talking in that stupid voice. And then he put his finger in my face and booped my nose. So I lost it. I bit his finger so hard I thought it was going to break. He kept trying to pull away, but I wouldn't let go until it slipped right from my teeth, getting blood all over his white pop-collared shirt. I think after that incident, anyone who knows me or about me never brings up my age. You might just lose a finger. If you guys have ever thought about joining Planet Dolan, well there's now a fast track. If you have a 5-10 to 10 minute story time of your own, submit a script and voice recording to story at planetdolan.com. If selected, your recording will be animated, just like you saw in this video right here. You'll be paid for your time and you'll have your very own PD character created. Likewise, we're also now recruiting artists and animators for story times, so submit your pictures to jobs at planetdolan.com. Check the description box below for further details.